Hello and welcome to Cloud Perceptor channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can share your CloudTrail logs, which are stored in S3 to any other AWS account. So let's first create a role. Click on IAM. Click on roles. Click on create role. Here, choose AWS account. Okay, another AWS account and put the AWS account ID. This is my secondary AWS account ID that I'm putting it over here. Okay, click on next. So here it will require a policy. So we are gonna create one policy over here. Okay. Prefer doing the JSON, but let's uh, use a visual editor. We are using service S3. Actions is, let me put any one the action so that later on we can edit. All right. We have the JSON ready over here. S3 colon put. Uh, sorry, we are just going to allow read only. So list time and similarly the resources, all the resources. Okay. So and let me choose any resources. Okay, we already have a resource over there, which is related to the uh, cloud trail log. Okay, so we are going to pick the ARN from over here on my S3 bucket. So this is my uh, S3 bucket. Okay, so I'm going to paste, I'm going to copy the ARN over here. So this is my ARN of my bucket. Okay. So list star, okay. So it will require an ERN over here. Put your bucket ERN. Okay. And we'll go back to the JSON again. So we have two things over here, right? It is going to allow uh, action to this also, okay. One is list. We also need get, okay. So get. Okay, and the resource, we are going to put the same thing over here. Let's look at the visual editor again. We need to put the ERN over here, which is this under resources. Okay, one more thing, important thing. Will also require one more uh, policy. Let me put list all my buckets. Yeah, so I use list all my buckets. Yeah, and <clears throat> Go back to the JSON. List all my buckets. Okay, so what it's gonna do is, it's gonna list all your buckets. But again, I will like to put this in a new section just to add more readability. Okay, so I'll be removing this action from over here. List all my buckets and I'll put star over here, okay? Because we are gonna retrieve all the buckets. That is the reason for this. Okay, looks good. Let's look at this again. Get this bucket, list this bucket. Okay, and list all buckets. Okay. It's showing this mirror over here. 
That is a comma. It's a comma over here. All right. We are removed it. Looks good now. Click on next. Okay. All right. I think the ID is same. Let me put it two over here. It needs a unique ID. Okay. Click on next. And uh, cross account cloud trail policy. Okay. okay, looks good. Click on create policy. Now we'll attach it with the role which we have already created over here. So just search for this policy and click on next. Just name it as a role. Okay. Click on create role. Our role is now created. Next thing is in our secondary account, we should assume this role. Okay. So let me show you how you can do it. So here I'm logged into my secondary account. I'll navigate to IAM. Click on roles. Okay, let's create a policy straight away over here. Click on create policy. Search for STS. Assume role. Okay. Click on JSON. Still not available. You got to uh, choose a specific resource. I think it is loading something. Okay. So here we got got to add the ARN, okay, role ARN of the primary account that we just created. Okay, so I will add the ARN over here with this CloudTrail role. Click on add, click on next, next. Let me change it here. Policy. Okay. Okay, once this policy is created, we are going to create a user. Okay, click on add users. I'll name it as a test. Okay, don't uh, require the programmatical access, so I'll just put okay. Remove this option. Click on next. Attach existing policies directly. Cross account. We already have this policy already created in earlier step. Click on next, next. Here we go. Our user is created and policy has been attached. Okay. So this step is done. Let me move back to IAM. Or okay. Let me click on close over here. Okay, so what we are going to do is we'll just copy this ARN. For our user. Don't know why this error is coming. Let me refresh the page again. All right, it looks good now. Looks like some minor glitch.
okay so now everything is set up we'll try to log in with this user test click on security credentials you will find the login link over here okay i'll open firefox browser so here i'm logged into my the ews account of the user that i just created i created in this account and i will be signing in now So here we go what we are going to now do is we'll be switching role okay click on switch role type in the account number of, of your primary account number okay which is in my case it's this role you need to create the uh, like copy the role name that you created in your primary account okay see the primary account is the account where you try to Cloud Trail logs are there. Okay. Click on switch roles. So here we can see we can now access the S3. Okay, so it's loading all the buckets. Let me look, see if I can access any other bucket or not. I have a cloud perceptor bucket over here. I don't have any access to this bucket, so I won't be able to access it. But let me try to access this cloud drill logs. As you can see, I have the access of this. Okay, so in this way, secondary account can access uh, S3 bucket of your cloud trail logs even without providing the access okay like even without sharing your primary credentials okay so using STS assume role you can uh, provide the access okay so let me show you how the word what is the exact architecture we followed what is the exact workflow we follow? So basically what we did is here we created two accounts. Already we have a primary account. Okay. So this is my account A. Okay. So what I did is I created a role over here. Role one policy one okay and what i did is created for another aws account right and then i attach this policy to role this policy will contain rewrite access for s3 that you want to you to your uh, secondary account so, okay so this is the how we followed next thing what we did is we already have another account b So in this account B, I created a policy, policy, so policy two, okay. This contains STS resume okay you need to provide ARN of for rule one okay over here 
once we did this we created a user user test and attach this policy to in this user okay once we did this we switched the roles and uh, you already saw right we were able to access the bucket and get contents for this cloud trail logs okay so guys this is how you can give a cross account access to your cloud trail logs so this is very useful in case of your uh, of any other team analytics team or deep debugging team can you know access the logs and they can troubleshoot the issues okay so thanks for watching this video do like and subscribe my channel thanks